everyone. Uh, thank you for joining. Today we have our friend, Emmanuel with us. Emmanuel has been a student of data science and uh, he has successfully cracked into the field of data science and now currently is working as a data scientist with uh, Capgemini. So we would like to hear from Emmanuel on how he prepared for the exam, sorry, for the interview, and how did he become successful data scientist? And uh, the first question is, despite being from non-IT background, how did you actually make your way into data science? How did you actually prepare? Uh, you're from non-IT background. Yeah. Over to you, Iman. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Bunny. Hi, everyone. So I would like to thank 360 DigitMG for giving me this platform to speak about uh, my journey in uh, becoming data analyst and data scientist. So, so being a non-IT background, so I was always, uh, you know, uh, like looking for uh, IT uh, jobs. So I was searching like which profile will be good for me to learn um, quickly and uh, uh, what type of things I can learn easily. So I have, I have done lots of research, research on that. So uh, I came to know that data science is a field where uh, not only coding, so also our domain knowledge is also important. So we can implement whatever the domain knowledge we're having in a data scientist with a minimal uh, amount of coding. So like this, I uh, got lots of research and uh, get into uh, this data scientist program. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, Emmanuel. So you're saying that domain knowledge is very important. The knowledge that you have accrued as part of, part of your electronics and communication was also yeah. helpful because a lot of data science projects nowadays are being done on the data which is captured using IoT devices. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Yes, exactly. And I believe, yeah, sure, absolutely. And I believe you have done your internship with InnoDataTix. And uh, you were saying that it helped you a lot. Can you explain more about that, Emmanuel, on how it helped, etc.? Yeah, uh, actually, after the completion of course, so uh, during the course, uh, I was dealing with uh, the data. So I was working with many data sets. Uh, from GitHub and also the 360 Digit EMG provides very comprehensive uh, assignments and projects during the course. But later on, uh, to apply those all techniques into real world scenarios, so uh, internship helped me a lot. So applying um, whatever I have learned pract uh, practically into the data, so internship has played very key role in that. And uh, it was completely different experience what I have learned in theory. So uh, working with clients, working on um, real-time scenarios, real-time data, so it was completely different. And it has uh, provided me lots of knowledge. So And also uh, during internship, um, many challenges, many new things I have learned. So that was good experience, I can say. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. A lot of people echo the same thoughts, Emmanuel. They say that once we do internship with uh, 360 Digit LG, and once we work on client-related projects, it's giving us immense confidence to crack any interview. Okay. And uh, all right. And uh, also, Emmanuel, a lot of people who have completed the internship, completed the projects, have actually got jobs. And there are also a lot of people who quit midway. That is, as soon as the training is done, they do not bother. Probably they give a brief try to get into the field of data science, but then they give up at the end of the day. So what is your uh, suggestion to our students on what should they do to get a job in the field of data science like you have got? Yeah, if, very, if you go to give only one one suggestion, one key suggestion, or one key guidance point, what would that be? Yeah. So as you're saying, like for many students quit in between. So that is very obvious. Like, you know, uh, what I feel is 
so data scientist very interesting uh, field and very interesting uh, subjects we can learn there so actually playing with data is not that much boring but we have to dedicate some amount of time and we have to develop that interest of learning new things so and also uh, data science is not just like you know uh, to get the job so wherever we are we might be i am working in some other domains so we can implement our data science knowledge in that domain also wherever we are working currently so we have to have this type of mindset that it is a skill that can help us to improve our uh, current job or profile whatever it is so and also uh, programming and doing assignments on a regular basis and getting rewards from the instructors and interacting with the group members in the projects and all will motivate us and will keep us in track so we have to be very interactive and very uh, like you know diligent towards the work whatever we are learning in the data science so that is my suggestion to my um, upcoming group, fellow members yeah yeah thank you thank you so much manuel that was a very important point always keep yourself motivated and surround yourself with people who are having positive mindset right there will be a lot of naysayers they they want to speak only negative right let's not be surrounded with them because a lot of students are getting jobs in amazing companies with some hefty pay packages just think about this that how is it that they are able to get a job why why am i not able to get a job the moment you start thinking on those lines certainly success will be at your doorstep no doubt about that yeah uh, with this uh, thank you thank you so much manuel for your time and uh, i'm i'm sure that if people try reaching out uh, to you on linkedin etc you'll be able to guide them uh, in terms of helping them get a job in the field of data science yeah exactly yeah. so i'll i'll help uh, i'll do my best if somebody reaches i'll definitely but, yeah it was nice thank you. you know interacting with you thank you Thank you, thank you so much, Manuel, and all the best for your future and for your career. We will always be there and stay connected. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. Bye. Take Good. care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You too.